16 years ago, Michael Phelps was just a 15-year-old kid chasing a dream at the Sydney Games. Today, he's the most decorated Olympian of all time. He'll be the flag bearer for the U.S. for the opening ceremonies, just the second swimmer to ever have the honor. So Friday night, the opening ceremonies of the 2016 Games in Rio will be on NBC and of course all eyes around the world and certainly here in our area yep. will be on swimming. Michael Phelps and Katie Ledecky and Tom Dolan joins us now who's a two-time Olympian, a two-time gold medal winner who also your final Olympics was young 15-year-old punk Michael Phelps' <laughs> first Olympics. So, I mean, here he is, the most decorated Olympian of all time, 22 medals, 18 golds. We all know the, the legacy. What did you see of him as a 15-year-old? It, first, it's been amazing to see the path um, that, that he has forged from, from 2000 to today. Uh, you know, I think back then, we certainly saw something greater than, uh, which was amazing to say, a 15-year-old make the Olympic team for, for a male back, it just didn't happen. Um, but I think we all realize that he had bigger and better things ahead of him. Um, I think the, the, the couple things in my takeaway, and even looking back at it, that um, that blew us all away back then was the poise that, that he mm -hmm. carried himself with as a 15-year-old. And, and, and you can see that as he went through successive Olympics. I think the, the breadth in which he dominated, not just in one event, not just in a couple events, but in multiple strokes, um, was something that nobody would have ever have, have realized back then. He took so much away from that that has helped him, you know, through these last 16 years. Well, you look at him and then you look at Katie Ledecky in women's swimming, how many similarities do you see or do you not see similarities? Eerily a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, I think, first of all, uh, four years ago she was 15 years old. <laughs> um, and, and I must say, it does happen in the Olympics where you have the 14, 15, 16 year old girls who kind of come out of nowhere and win. I think for Katie, what, what's been amazing is that was her beginning point. True. That was her jumping off point was winning a gold medal at 15. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if she stopped today, that was good actually career. one yeah. of the lower rankings of her swims. Wow. She's had almost every swim since then for four years has been faster than her gold medal swim, which is just, I, I don't know how you explain that. Yeah. Um, and that. And she's now at a point where yeah, it's going to be exciting to see her swim. But to be honest with you, in a couple of events, it's not going to be that exciting because she's going to be so far ahead. Yeah, I so what's that. going to be exciting <laughs> is how much does she win by, which yeah. doesn't happen at Olympic stage. <laughs> Let's go back to Michael Phelps now because this is his final Olympics now. Is there anything he has had, we were talking before we came on, an up and down life, not mm -hmm. career. His life has had all kinds of ups and downs. Uh, and now he's at this point. Is there anything he can do in this Olympics that would change his legacy at all, whether it's for the better or even for the worse? I, I think that, I mean, this is a cliche in sports in, in some ways, but he's achieved so much now that he can't tarnish his legacy uh, purely by, perf by poor performance. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's at a point now where, um, you know, anything that he does medal-wise uh, is going to add one to his, obviously, the medal total that's, that's kind of unfathomable where he is now. <laughs> yes. um, but I also think it adds to that, that longevity of his career, which in, in, you could argue what's more incredible, the longevity of his career or the success of his career. I, I certainly think he'll win at least a gold medal in an individual met, in, event. I think he'll win a gold medal in a relay. I, you know, my personal opinion is I think he'll win six medals in these <laughs> games. Wow. Because he's got three individual events. He was named to the four by 100 free relay the other day, which means he'll be in all three relays. Um, I don't think the Americans will win all three of those relays on the men's side, but I certainly think they'll medal in all three of them. Um, and I would be very surprised if he doesn't at very least medal in all of his events. My prediction is he wins probably two of those three. Looking at Katie and Michael and their success, how has that changed swimming in this region? You, you know, I think the best way that I can explain it is in some ways this becomes where swimming's a little bit like track and field because it's a time-based sport. Mm -hmm. um, when, a, when a runner breaks a, a certain barrier in the hundred or in the mile, all of a sudden it becomes acceptable. It becomes the norm. It's the new norm for kids growing up to be able to swim that fast. I think to me, as a swimmer, having been at that level, um, it, that's, that's how I look at it is what Michael and Katie have done for swimming in this area is 
they have raised what the new norm is. And it's not some mystical faraway goal. It's a real goal that takes love and passion and, and hard work um, and day in and day out work to get to that point, but it's certainly achievable. It's not something that is once every 200 years uh, of a success. Well, Tom Dolan, uh, you didn't just steal the shirt. You're going to be one of our swimming analysts throughout the Olympic Games in Rio. I mean, look forward to your analysts. The shoes fit me well. It's a little bit tight now. Not, not it happened. It happened. This must it's because been... you lifted. Yeah. 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 A lot of protein. A lot of protein going on. All right, Tom. Thanks so much. Thanks, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. <laughs>